My name is Jerry Riemann, 4247 Philadelphia. Madam Mayor, two years ago I stood here before you and urged you and the city to commit every possible resource to solving the murder of Officer Kevin Brain. At that time, I presented you with a tin cup that was to be assembled, that no effort would be too small to achieve that end. You promised to keep that cup until the crime was solved. It is now just over five years since that murder and the crime is still unsolved. I wonder if I might borrow that cup a few, for a minute to help me make my points. Madam Mayor, I'm sure you've heard the expression, if only I had a nickel. Well, Your Honor, I have brought a few nickels tonight to help me make my points. If only I had a nickel for the two people who have sat in the mayor's chair since Officer Brame was murdered. If only I had a nickel for all the city commissioners who have sat up front in the last five years. If only I had a nickel for the two people who have sat in the city manager's seat since Kevin was killed. If only I had a nickel for the four people that have been in charge of the police department since that fateful November night in 1999. If only I had a nickel for all the detectives who have worked on this murder investigation and still have not solved this crime. If only I had a nickel for the lawyers and prosecutors in this town who file lawsuits over broken down ice cream machines in 24 hours, but can't get an indictment for a murder of a police officer in over five years. If only I had a nickel for all the citizens of this community who have knowledge of this crime, yet refuse to become involved. If only I had a nickel for the Kevin Brains, Mary Beals, Derek Ali's, N.J. Mamadou's, and others of this community who are no longer with us due to senseless act of violence. We and you decry the violence that has beset the neighborhoods where we live, but let's be realistic. It is not the mayor, nor city commissioners, nor the police department that will solve this issue. It is the citizens of this city who need to fill this cup with nickels as a symbol of their commitment to a safe and secure city. Finally, I ask you, how many nickels will it take to solve the murder of Officer Brame? Or will I be back here in five more years with dimes, or 20 more years with quarters, and make this same impassioned plea? Your Honor, you and the city may now have the tin cup back. Look at it every day and remind yourself and all who see it, there is a cop killer still roaming the streets of Dayton. Thank you. Mr. Deneen, is it possible that we could have... Uh, well, I could have the chief come forward and, and give you an overview of where, where they are as best he can in the investigation <coughs> and what our efforts are at this point. Chief? Good evening, Mayor, City Manager, Commissioner, Julian Davis, Chief of Police. Um, the case is assigned to the cold case squad still. They're still pursuing all leads that, uh, that come in, and we've not given up on the case. I've spoken many times to Mrs. Brain and to uh, her husband, Gerald, about this case. And when uh, Chief McManus brought me to town in 02, being an old homicide detective, we often talked about the Brain murder case and were surprised that it wasn't solved. And at that time, I think the reward was $5,000 or $10,000, I can't re recall. And the first thing we wanted to do was bring it back to light. And, uh, raise the reward up to $100,000 and try to get more information on it. And it was under uh, our direction that uh, we established a cold case squad to try to get people to work on it to reopen that particular case. I actually took the case file home with me to read because, as I said before, I spent 10 years investigating murders. And uh, in my experience, when a police officer was killed, that was just something you wouldn't do because not that we're any more special than a regular citizen, it's that we're, we represent symbols of America. And you're actually killing those symbols. And if uh, the citizens of Dayton don't take that seriously, then how can anyone feel safe? Ms. Perry, uh, Ms. Peters, I'm sorry, I said it uh, very well that uh, I don't see how anyone can feel safe 
if they don't help us solve this particular case. And it, it often pains me that this case is still unsolved. And uh, we often talk about it in uh, senior staff meetings, and I talk to my pub public information officer about it quite frequently, about what we can do to get this case solved. And it's not on the back burner when it comes to the police department. It's on the front burner. Uh, like they say, if you wear the uniform, then we rally around each other to try to solve that. But if a person will kill a police officer who is armed, just think what he would do to someone who isn't armed. I don't know who the killer is or where the killer is at this particular time, but I could, the brains can rest assured we won't leave in any stone unturned in trying to pursue justice for Kevin. Thank you, Chief. Chief, if you could leave a phone number in case somebody's watching and would like to call you with information. Uh, I'd like from the call 937-333-1080. Thank you. I, I think